Hey everyone, oh my goodness, happy Labor Day, yay! I hope uh, that you are enjoying your day off, if you have a day off. For those of you who are working, thank you so much for kicking ass on the day that we're all supposed to have off. Um, and I just wanted to hop on here because it is Labor Day and it is exciting and relaxing. I'm chilling out on my couch right now. Um, and just talk about how tomorrow is going to be the Mondayest Tuesday ever. Um, <laughs> and for those of you who are, you know, feeling like, you know, you're dreading going back tomorrow, you have the barbecue today, you're so excited, or maybe you had your barbecue yesterday or spent some time with family and loved ones. Hey, Steve. Yes, I am live. What's up? <laughs> um, for those of you who are, you know, like going through your barbecue today, uh, having fun with your family and friends, but you're also in the back of your head thinking like, oh, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Like this sucks. Um, I think I have, I know I have another tip for you. So I already gave you the first tip, which is to write yourself a did do list. When we are in toxic work environments, we oftentimes are trained to think about all of the things we didn't accomplish, all of the reasons why we're not good enough, all of the reasons Yes, Steve, you should come to the barbecue. Goodness. Um, <laughs> you know, all of the reasons that we're not good enough and all of the reasons why we didn't accomplish everything that we uh, should have accomplished. And the reality is, is a lot of us are getting a shit ton done. So my first tip was to write yourself a did-do list at the end of every day or the beginning of every day about the prior day's work. So everything you did do, because um, we always have the to-do list, but we need something to counterbalance it. Today, I want to jump on and talk about what happens when our coworkers, our community, our work environment, our work life, um, those people are telling us, or maybe we're telling ourselves, you know, insults left and right. Why we're why we're a crappy employee? Why the work we do, you know, why the work we do doesn't matter? Or why, you know, all of these reasons? Maybe it's not even work related. Maybe it's I'm not pretty enough, or I'm too fat, or I'm too this, or I'm too that, and. What I want to challenge you to do in order to get to a better headspace, especially if you're in a toxic work environment, and toxic work environments are spaces that um, really where drama, where you know all of this like toxicity gets in the way of productivity. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to take a mental list, right? You know, kind of take note of all of the negativity, all of the. Um, voices that you've heard, you know, like maybe your boss told you something, maybe a coworker said something, maybe you were telling yourself some sort of story that isn't serving you. And what I want you to do is I want you to create an equal and opposite affirmation for that. When we're in toxic, toxic work environments, when we're in work environments that don't serve us, we tend to let that negative thought pattern, that negative thinking take over. And so what we want to do is we want to crowd our mind, crowd our ego um, in some ways, crowd our, our psychology, all of this that's kind of going on with positive rather than negative. I kind of like to think of it as the I'm going to eat a ton of fruits and vegetables before I get to the dessert table. So when I get to the dessert table, I don't binge on dessert. It's kind of like the same thing. You're not leaving much space in your mind for negative thoughts. You know, um, so take some note on what those negative thoughts are, what those negative beliefs might have become over time. Create those equal and opposite affirmations. For instance, um, I hear this one all the time. I'm a crappy writer, you're a crappy writer, whatever, whichever way you hear that. You, we internalize, I'm a shitty writer, I'm a crappy writer, yeah, my boss is right, my coworker is right, I'm not a good writer. And we've internalized that. And what we want to do is we want to create an equal and opposite affirmation that is, that feels good to us. So for me, an, a, you know, the equal and opposite for I'm a horrible writer might be you know, I am a fabulous writer when I'm in the right headspace. I'm a fabulous writer when I give myself the space to grow. You know, you can create an affirmation that really works for you. Hi, Lynn. Um, and so creating that equal and opposite is going to be so key for you. Now, this, you know, this is where it becomes really important. You have to use it. 
So what we want to do is we come up with those negative thoughts, those negative beliefs, those negative insults that we've heard, we create the equal and opposite, and then we put, we create signs and put it on post-its and have it everywhere, maybe in our cubicle, on our phone screensaver, you know, everywhere that we can see it. And so not only is it you know, now in our mind, so we can continually tell ourselves, we also have the environmental triggers that continue to, to, to basically um, flood our mind, that kind of, that eating fruits and vegetables before you get to the dessert bar thing. So we're filling our mind with positivity, with positive beliefs, with affirmation, so that we can be more productive, so that we can set our best foot forward. Because remember, if this is a, if this is a toxic work environment, if this is a crappy job, um, you still need this to, you know, you still want to put your best foot forward. This is still a bridge job for you. It's still a stepping stone in your path to get you where you want to go. So remember to do that next time you're feeling like um, you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like tomorrow's going to be the Monday is Tuesday ever. But um, so grab those, you know, grab a piece of paper, write down all those negative thoughts, create the equal and opposite, flood your mind with the positivity so that you can be more productive, the best person you can be, kind, compassionate, etc. the person you want to be, um, and be able to move forward in your career. Um, so I, I hope you guys are having an amazing Labor Day. I know I'm enjoying uh, my Labor Day. I'm about to watch some Westworld. I don't know if there's any Westworld fans out there. I'm also going to have a barbecue a little later on. So so I'm um, going to enjoy mine. I hope that you are having a great Labor Day yourself, and uh, I will see you soon. Okay. Oh, and my group program, guys, it launches on Thursday. <laughs> so if you want to find out more about it, go to workyoulovenow.com slash jumpstart. It's going to be awesome. It's a four-week online small group program where we talk about how do you find your ideal work environment. What is your ideal position? How do you create a plan so you don't end up in this crappy place again? Um, it's gonna be a really cool stuff. We're gonna talk about emotional intelligence and how that plays into the workplace. So it's gonna be good. You should check it out. There's more information on my website, workyoulovenow.com slash jumpstart. Okay, bye for real. Happy Labor Day, guys.